aborigine, which means what? Black folks. Now, you never find a white aborigine. Aborigines are called natives, or they're always dark-skinned people. You and I are aborigines, but you don't let them be called hey, aborigines. Uh, Ron March yeah. talked about the go. Democrats and the Republicans. And so he's going to finish that up, and we will talk about the Indians and who are they? The L, yes, yes. the A. Okay, Rob. Yes, yes, yes. All right. Um, uh, that uh, the Democrat and Republic package has been a thorn in Black America's side for hundreds of years, and I'll say for for instance, two hundred fifty years now. We got to understand, Beth, as we start out, that all Moors, we got to remember this, all Moors are black, mm -hmm. but, all, but all blacks are not Moors. Now give that a thought for a minute. And then we, when I talk about those that are black that are not Moors, I've been calling them the Power Tan Tribe or the Power Tan Confederation, for lack of a better term at this time. You understand? Right. Be because there are there's millions of us in North, in North America on this continent. And everything over here is not Moors. But everything that's black that's over here uh, is everything black that's over here we know are here, but everything that's black are, is not Moors. Moors are only ones that are black. Now, I hope I'm not confusing you, but that's very important to understand because we are among a groups of people, quote unquote, tribes, that reason we can't unify and can't organize, we don't know who we're dealing with. So we need some some principles so we can identify who we should be with. Does that make sense? Now, when, so when you say... All blacks are not Moors. Um, Correct. Are you talking all about Moors, philosophy? Are you talking about really bloodline? What are you talking about? Color. Color. Okay. okay. Anyone of color. Everyone of color are not okay. Moors. Okay. But, but all Moors are black. Now, I'm learning from new information, and I tell you, Bev, when I get to digging in this information, I get confused, and it makes me keep going to clarify what's already in my noggin and what okay. I'm reading. How does it how does it fit? Right. But you recall in our history, especially in the Europeans' history, they told us about the mulatto. They told us about about anyone with a, a ace of a black in them. They would be considered to be black, right? And and then they all of that. But what I found out, that's all in reverse, because the blacks were in power in post antebellum. Before the Civil War, blacks were in power of the government. They ran everything. It was anti antebellum or after the Civil War. It's when the European took over because we had just ended a war among ourselves. And the European took advantage of that and began to set up rules, regulations, uh, char uh, 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 codes, ordinances, all types of issues that put us in the situation that we're in today. So I, you got to... You, you got to understand that. We need someone to make a movie to clarify and or to differentiate what really happened between 1854 and 1875. And that was the era, quote unquote, of reconstruction when the European changed everything. There were two civil wars. But the first Civil War bloomed into the second Civil War. So technically there was one. But the Civil War of importance was the Civil War that started in 1854. We have never heard that, that period of time, 1854. The European taught us that the Civil War started in 1861 when they quote-unquote 
walked out of Congress and set up what is known as the Sinead, S-I-N-E-D-I-E. Well, all of that's European history. And what they were saying, to my knowledge that I'm getting today, is that period in 1861 of the quote-unquote Sinead was the beginning date of the European takeover of North America, of, of our government. And they did all kinds of everything in order to make it work. They just literally turned on the, 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 the Moors that were here among the other blacks. Now, does that make sense? Now, who was the other? Now, because all blacks are Moors, but then there was other blacks I that, were not, to come, that were not Moors. Yep, correct. Now, so, were these that's, that's, blacks that came from uh, Africa or... No, um, no, no, no. Okay. They were... Let's draw... Imagine a circle. Okay. Imagine you got a pen and paper and you're going to take a pen and draw a huge circle. Okay. Inside of that circle, you're going to draw a smaller circle. Mm-hmm. Now, we're, I'm going to say that that circle, the big circle, is black. The whole thing is black. Okay. But in that blackness, there is another group of blacks known as Moors. Okay. They all have been here all the time. They've been here all, ever since, uh, we can go back to 1500, 1400, 1492. They were all here doing all that period you of time. black asses, or it'll be bread and water again tonight. You wouldn't want me to turn you over to your brothers, the Frenchies, would you now? No, they really stripped your ugly hide. Gotta move on, you lazy bastards! Move! After! <laughs> Give lively my yellow livers, come! I only want to see a stinking shiny black asses! Move! Are you really gonna chase this? When the wagon returns, that will be your chance to slip away. Bastard. The long boat lies waiting in green pond, stocked with provisions and water. To make it but seven days to work! Don't break the work, I say! Now remember, our very existence lies in your hands. Do not fail your brothers. I will not fail you, brother. Now watch for my signal. Move, you great to the earth! Master! Get that Come. slacker on his back! Let us level some cane, my son. That better. We should be leveling that, old man. Your pronunciation is abominable. Fermez la fenêtre. And now shall we get on with the lesson? No more French today. I've had enough. <coughs> Why don't you stand there, Bottoms? Put my glass on the table and take Captain Delarier here. Yes, your ladyship. Too bad Bonaparte's gone. He liked your type. Really? Take Josephine, a very ambitious whore. You no good, queer son of a bitch. I should really get rid of you. That's when your niggers get together and burn Blackmore to the ground and you along with it. Niggers? Niggers? What the hell do you think you are? <laughs> Blimey, I forgot. His Black Majesty has cut a fine cloth. My ancestors were warriors, kings. Kings, you say? Slave runners, more like it. And now your noble line has come to an end. What do you mean? Make love to men and then you don't make babies. Simple as that. Okay, Cleone, that's enough. Now, come on, hand me my robe and get out. Move, move. Yes, mistress, yes, mistress. Captain Delarier, would you mind fastening my dress? Are you quite sure of the direction in which your interest lies? And my interest lies in only what you pay me, which is oddly enough. It's all I can afford, Raymond. Joxa makes more. Well, Joxa produces sugarcane, and that's where the money is. And not without me and my men. When you leave for Paris, I should be placed in charge. Joxa would never take orders from a... <laughs> the likes of you. Um, why can't you two get on? Because he's trash. Poor, white, trash. <laughs> If thou ride, I offend my son. Pluck it out and cast it from thee. For I say unto you, thou shalt not kill. And whosoever shall kill shall be in danger of the judgment. You profess to be your leader. You are a bloody coward, old man.
the two of you are sending me with you? You flint bastard! You're really gonna taste this! Who's that man? It's Jack, sir. He wants to whip Brother Barnaby. Who are these people? From Plantation. Where these riders coming? It's the Tantan, Massa. What happened that man? They will get you. We've got to follow them. Go on! Go! Come on! Go. Charles Walk. I'm uh, Ronald Sopworth, the new bookkeeper from London. Who might you be? Don't get wise with me, you young whelp. I'm Jack Tierney, your lord and master. Oh, then this letter from Lady Susan Walker's solicitor is for you. Ah, uh, shit! <laughs> Is a tan, my brothers. Let us drag the head they cast away to the stems of the old Barnaby. Now, now, listen not to this, this Philistine. Bear of false prophecy. Spit upon your mindless drivel. My prophecies are real. Yours are fairy tales for the minds of children and toothless hands. <laughs> brothers, you hold truth in your hands. Your machets can make us free men today. All who live by the sword shall perish by the sword. He who strikes his fellow man in anger shall pay with his soul. Allez, whip me, whip me. Allez, whip me in the knee. They are not going to come. Execute him as a salon. Not only are you cowards, but partners to play Barnaby's execution as well. You call yourselves brothers. I call you sisters. Attention! Attention, garde à vous. Arme à tête. Attention, le commandement, chargez vos fusils. Where do they fly, bitch? Look, I'm in the air. 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 Stop it, you bloody frog bastards! I take charge now. Back to your wagon, bookkeeper. This doesn't concern you. Speaking of savages, that bugger's worth about 300 pounds. Like drowning good money in the sea. Ha 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 Voyez-vous ça, hein? Même plaisir, il se fait manger par les requins. 
And I'll say for for instance, 250 years. Now, we got to understand, Beth, as we start out, that all Moors, we got to remember this, all Moors are black, mm-hmm. but, all, but all blacks are not Moors. 